What's good, pretty people? My name is Gypsy. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. You're watching Broken Dolly TV. And once again, we're going to have a little dialogue with our viewers who have been leaving comments on my one of my recent videos. So I just uploaded this video the other day for you guys, um, reacting to your comments on some of your older comments. But I saw that y'all had left such amazing comments that I have to take a look at these comments with you guys. So so, I love seeing this. So thank you to everybody who participated in leaving comments. I really appreciate you guys coming over here and talking to me. Because I ain't got no friends. <laughs> Alright, let me stop laughing at myself. Anyways, who laughs when they say, I don't have no friends? Me, because I got problems. Here's the dilly O. Oh. So I just want to point out that we do have a merch shop. Somebody asked me about some graphics that they saw on my dolls. And some of the dolls graphics that I have that are original graphics done by my son Genu. We actually have the same graphics on shirts for us that you can wear um, to represent if you want to. Be sure to go and check that out. Just hit this little button shop and then it'll take you to the shop. Here you're only going to see like one or two designs but if you actually go into the shop it'll take you to like a whole page where there's a bunch of different designs and stuff. So anyway I just wanted to throw that out there for those of you who are interested but let's take a look at some of these good comments okay. First of all Okay, first, first, first of all, okay, I love this. I love when I see this little icon right here. Blake, thank you. Hi, missed you. Mm-hmm, or should I say, Balake. <laughs> I bet people do that to you all the time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, Blake said, what's happening, Gypsy? I could listen to you for hours, and I absolutely have. Are you for real? I discovered your channel in 2017, 20. Dang, you've been following me for that long. I didn't even realize. I was brand new to collecting in my early 30s and I felt somewhat embarrassed. In those early days, I would sit in the basement with my now ex-boyfriend and we would smoke blunt after blunt binge watching your videos. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, that imagery just looks so cute in my brain. Yours is one of a handful of channels that got me through mourning my mother. Oh my gosh. And collecting toys as an adult and one of the few doll channels that I've kept my subscription to since the start of my collecting journey oh my gosh Blake wow wow I know I'll be goofing off all the time with you a lot of you guys would come over here we'd be goofing around but this see this is why I do this you guys you don't understand this is what I get my inspiration from I love to hear about how people emotionally connect with what we're doing over here rather than it just being about a bunch of tutorials and customizing your dolls I mean we all do that but there's such a more deeper meaning to us adults who collect dolls a lot of times sometimes dolls are the only way that we can express ourselves dolls are the only way that we can be um, creative sometimes dolls are the only medium that we have to make stories for example you know sometimes you just want to like work out something that it's like therapy you just need to work out a scenario and doing that with the dolls can be very very therapeutic for people sometimes just looking at their pretty faces is just like why am I upset? Why am I depressed? There's beauty in the world. What is my problem, right? So sometimes it, it does that for you. And this really, this really right here, this makes me want to cry. Yours is one of a handful of channels that got me through mourning my mother. Bro, that is, oh my gosh. Like, I don't even know what to say. First of all, that's so sad that your mother is gone. And I mean, all of our parents eventually have to go at some point, right? And it's never an age where it's easy. Like, I lost my dad when I was probably around, like, eight or nine years old. Totally out of the blue. Even when I run into adults who lose their parents, like, one of my um, exes, his mom died while me and him were dating. And he was so devastated. Like, he was never the same person again. Even though he even listened to his mother. He was always giving her a hard time. But just the way that it affected him, that was hard to watch. And he was a grown man at the time. So, Blake, thank you for sharing that with us. It really touched me to hear you say that and I'm glad that you feel like this is a safe space for you to come to to just wind down relax 
and chill with us right thank you for that comment and i really love that comment okay so here we go mini g here we go see these are my tried and true people right here okay this is my doll gang right here okay if we had a actual doll gang like these are the people that would be like <laughs> front line okay mini g she said goodness i was just wondering when your next live or video was coming out and here it is you have no idea how much i have missed your doll reviews because i too need that extra info before buying dolls i'm still hoping your son releases some patterns for fashion doll size hanboks again i'm so glad to see a video from you and looking forward to more like this or if you feel up to it a live or two no pressure thank you mini g you know what this is actually a great idea that you mentioned here about patterns for the hanboks i should talk to jinu about that because i don't know if it occurred to him that he could do that you know like sometimes i forget how creative you guys are and just because i don't know what i'm doing when it comes to making doll clothes <laughs> everyone else don't got that problem so that's actually a great idea i should talk to him about that because he makes all his patterns from scratch for pretty much everything that he creates so he makes hanboks for you know like actual humans and then he just scaled it down for the dolls when he made them for me so maybe i will talk to him about um how he can create patterns for you guys and then we can share those with y'all that'd be awesome thank you for that great idea and definitely no pressure you guys don't pressure me i pressure myself i definitely pressure myself when it comes to my creating because i'm kind of a i'm not gonna say i'm a perfectionist because i'm really not i'm very laid back but it's just that i like things to be the way that i like things to be you know i totally blame my my autism for it i blame everything on my autism but to be honest i was born with autism so everything quirky about my personality that i blame on my autism ultimately that's just my personality because the autism is just intertwined into my personality if that makes sense you know what i mean so like for example some people will develop like ocd because they just have like some kind of like a trigger like something happened in their life that starts to make them have like a nervous condition and not all of them of course but some people it's just that just happens but like it can be cured you know what i'm saying if they get enough therapy if they get enough help they can usually cure that but people like me sometimes we just the ocd just comes with <laughs> the autism you understand what i'm saying so for me my ocd is things like this when it comes to my creativity i just need for things to be lined up a very specific way and if i don't see it lining up that way it'll start to like just bother me so definitely not no pressure but thank you so much for this wonderful comment maxine what up boo how'd you y'all let me talk about maxine okay i was looking at maxine's instagram and was thoroughly impressed at how fit she is how passionate she is about fitness that was so like inspiring to see because i didn't realize that i have doll people over here who are into exercising and staying fit and all of that stuff and i just newly got into fitness i'm like the least fit person that y'all gonna meet but i mean i'm trying so this is really great to have um that kind of inspiration right at my fingertips with someone i actually like know as opposed to a total stranger because when it's total strangers it's so easy for you to just like dismiss what they're doing because it's like <laughs> easy for you or <laughs> whatever but, <laughs> but but with people that you're familiar with it's a little bit more inspiring it feels like well if they can do it i could probably do it you know so um i just wanted to say that real quick about maxine maxine said lives intimidate me nowadays so i watch them after and sometimes i watch yours multiple times it was so exciting to see this video pop up girl i know exactly what you mean when you say lives intimidate me nowadays <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> girl i know exactly what you mean i'm glad that you were able to enjoy this latest video that i had put up without the pressure of participating in a live CW said, I am also a doll face person and I am intrigued by the sisters seven pack for the new live action Little Mermaid movie. They did new sculpts for each of the actresses playing the sisters and I think they did a great job. Even though the dolls are a bit pixelated, I want the set, but it is a hundred US dollars and a hundred and sixty for me in Canada. Ilk. If it goes on sale though, I might not be able to resist. I would like to know your thoughts. Ooh, girl or guy this is actually a great comment let's see let's look up okay so i'm gonna assume that this is the one that you're talking about because i see seven dolls here and honestly what i think about it honestly 
what the heck is going on with the tails? I hope this isn't the set, because what is going on with these tails? Y'all, I don't, this I don't like. I don't like that the tails are molded and they can't, they're not like fabric tails that you can just slip on and off of the dolls. I don't like that at all. But I mean, I see when they do this, it's usually because they're supposed to be water toys. So, um, there's a logical reason for it. It's just, I don't like that. I like functionality. I like variables. I like being able to customize and have choices with my doll collection and I also like that for my child like if I was getting it for a kid I would like to have that same option but I will say this the face sculpts oh my gosh must haves every last one of them bruh I'm almost as excited about these face sculpts as I was about Barbie looks when they first dropped and we saw that they all had new sculpts this is dope I did see the Ariel version at Target the other day and I've definitely liked the sculpt I don't think she looks quite exactly like I've seen Mattel do way better with the likenesses of the actresses that they mold into dolls and I think she could still look a little bit more like Hallie the um, the actress that plays this part in the movie but it's still a good sculpt she still looks good um, it's just her eyes just look so far apart from each other to me. That's just how I feel about it. When I collect dolls based on their face sculpts, it's not because I want them to look exactly like the people who they're supposed to be depicting when they make dolls that look like celebrities. That's not really my concern. I'm more concerned about whether they look good or not, you know? And I thought I was seeing things when I saw the doll in person, but now that I'm looking at this picture, I see I wasn't seeing things. No, she really is pixelated. I thought it was just the lighting in the store, but no, she's got a pixel face. That disappoints me to no end. But the sculpts themselves, I especially like the two brown ones, not even because they're brown dolls. I just love how their facial structures look. They just look very unique, like off the rip. As soon as I'm looking at the, you know, the lineup, I can tell that those two absolutely have unique head sculpts. The other ones, you kind of have to like study the faces a little bit because they resemble other dolls that we already have. Like the pink haired one to me looks kind of like Skipper's older sister. And then the one with the green hair looks a lot like the Louboutin mermaid sculpts. The Asian looking one, she resembles that, um, what is the name of that sculpt? I want to say it's, I want to say pizzazz perhaps but I'm not really sure if I'm thinking of the same sculpt um but she definitely resembles like a face I've seen before and so does this purple haired one she she kind of looks like some of the sculpts I've already seen on the fashionistas before but I can tell that they're not they do look like new sculpts um they just very similar to some other sculpts we've seen but the gold fin one and the blue fin one they definitely look different and this hair Oh my goodness, I need that. So don't let me catch y'all someplace in person because I'm going to have my eye on y'all. I would never keep them like this though. I would absolutely take them off of these bizarre bodies and then put them onto uh, regular bodies, preferably made to move bodies if I could find the right skin tone matches. I, I like them. Okay, so thank you for that, CW. Mari Cherry. 239 said I love your channel you and your family make doll collecting and customizing so I'm old and I'm late to the game but rekindled my love and your channel vibes exactly with me so thank you please keep it up well thank you Mari for saying so I love this comment you're not old you're not late to the game you're never too old to become a doll collector if you are 97 years old and you start collecting dolls today it's not too late okay I'll be telling my kids too I tell my daughter all the time I'm like listen listen I don't know about your brother but I'm telling you right now if, if I die, you are inheriting every last one of my Barbie dolls. And I've already marked in my book the ones that are worth money. I was like, if you need to sell them, these are the ones that you want to sell. And I was like, trust me, somebody in the doll collecting community will gladly take them off of your hands. Trust. So I was like, don't play me. Don't play my dolls and give them away to some thrift shop or throw them in the garbage can or just give them to a bunch of little kids who are going to pop their heads off and destroy them. These dolls had too much work put into them, girl. You better take care of my dolls. So 
I already let her know. You feel me? It ain't never too late. Unions Dolls, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, says, First of all, welcome back. Thank you. I love your channel a lot. Thank you. And I love your dolls. Thank you. Reviews, thank you. They are so detailed. That's why I love them so much. Thank you to everything you said. Dolly Smoochies. Tata, aka Lulu, one of my new favorite subscribers, hello, says, Hi, lovely gypsy. Thank you for answering my comments. I was tickled. Barbie Pink, OMG. Great name for our channel. I'm at work right now. You will hear from me soon. Oh, thank you for leaving another great comment. I love, 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 love seeing the same people in the comments all the time. Like, those are my like troop you feel me like i love that squad goals right y'all krista justice said i learned in high school about cj walker she was very important to our history yes that's a reference to something i was talking about in this video of course with cj walker in it priya mason said hi i've missed you so much gypsy hi priya priya and i sometimes have conversations over on instagram about everything everything that's another thing too like i am a doll collector but when I tell you guys, you know, you can talk to me on Instagram. When I tell you guys, you can talk to me over on Instagram. So here's the dealio. A lot of my subscribers who follow me on Instagram, they also talk to me in my DMs. And we don't always talk dolls. We do talk dolls for sure. Because, I mean, who else are we going to talk dolls with? Our real life friends? <laughs> yeah okay we talk about everything we talk about our lives we talk about our families we talk about our hopes and dreams we talk about our frustrations we talk about our childhoods we just talk about whatever and sometimes it's a lot easier to talk to a stranger so to speak you know not like a total stranger someone who you don't know personally day to day about really intimate subjects i don't know why that is i feel like it's because when you're talking to people who are not who don't personally know you about those kinds of things you don't feel as judged you don't feel so much like you have to hide your real feelings or like try to impress the person they're anonymous who they gonna tell who they gonna tell they gonna call your mommy up and be like yeah your daughter says she thinks she might be bi no you're not gonna do that you know what i'm saying you gonna call my boss and be like yeah she says sometimes she be sneaking out staplers you're not gonna do that you understand what i'm saying so that's why i think it's a little easier for us to just like vent to people who were not in personal real life relationships with and that's what happens a lot of times with me and my subscribers so shout out priya hey what's up give me some time to catch back up on my instagram game because i know some of you guys message me over there and i don't always answer you guys back right away it'll take me like a while to answer you back but that's usually because either i'm like overrun with comments you see how quickly these comments amass in like a day of me putting this video up i'm just busy i'm just like doing stuff in my real life so i'll make myself not open up my instagram feed because i already know i'm going down the rabbit hole once i open it up it's gonna be hours out of my day gone because i'm talking to you guys and i actually like talking to y'all like if i didn't enjoy the conversations i wouldn't even have that problem i would do you like most of these people on these platforms do huh, thanks for watching have a great day bye <laughs> like that's what i would do right i wouldn't be asking y'all questions i wouldn't be giving you feedback i wouldn't be talking to you about my own experiences because who cares malik said welcome back don't leave us again i watched all the lives multiple times malik just because you said that just because you said that i got you just because you said it all right i hear you i hear you alejandro corona says i don't know if you know faith aline she's a youtuber but she's an amazing reviewer she literally does skin tone comparisons that are so insanely helpful well thank you for mentioning faith aline because i don't know this youtuber and there are so many great doll tubers now that are on the scene some of them are newish and some of them are have been around for like a couple of years what they bring to the table is fresh new they're not afraid to dig in cater to an adult audience which was lacking when i started my channel so it's always good to find out about youtubers like that because y'all i know i'm a doll tuber i know i collect dolls i know i know i know but i freaking hate doll tube like i can't stand watching doll tube because so many of the creators are are catering to five-year-olds and i'm not five so i can't watch it because i'm like who are you talking to who like hi guys okay welcome back to the channel we're gonna look at this beautiful pretty doll yay oh isn't she pretty she's so cute i just be like i gotta i gotta go sorry i gotta go i can't do this you understand what i'm saying like just can you just talk to me in your regular voice <laughs> please <laughs> come on
one. So it's always good to find out about doll tubers who are on it like that. Krista Justice once again said, I love this video. Thank you. Tamisha Yarbrough, up, up, up. Is that another familiar name? I do see. Says, I do understand your stance on the Naturalista brand. I feel the same way as far as how a customer creator was created, was treated, sorry. I will not name, say what happened, but it was real foul and the situation could have meant with more or better decorum see some of the companies may not expect for their slick actions to get around to more than whoever they openly offended but guess what we be finding out i bought two dolls from this company before i heard disturbing news i ain't about to throw out my dolls but they won't get my money maybe if i find one in a thrift store she might get bought but not retail girl i know exactly what you're saying tamisha and i'm glad you mentioned that i'm glad you mentioned that these um doll companies they sometimes underestimate the power of the doll community as far as our networking and how quickly news spreads and how loyal we are to what we stand for as a community like i was talking about in this particular video that this comment was left on i was saying that um i had found out that the naturalistas doll company had done something very unprofessional and very anti-customer service <laughs> to someone in the doll community and I just I didn't like what I heard and I was like that's the reason why I can't really endorse that company because though the product is okay I just can't endorse a company who's going to treat their customers like we're trash right that's the thing like if you if you treat creators and supporters of certain creators like that it's just like when we sponsor stuff because we said hey go to this company and try out their products people will click on your links people will use your coupon codes people will just go check it out just because you said so you know um amazon affiliate links that's why those things are so huge right but it goes the other way too if you say let's boycott this because they foul depending on how much influence you have there's gonna be a crap ton of people who are gonna support that and not only are they gonna support it they're gonna spread the news to other people and be like oh no 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 no, girl this is what i heard through the grapevine don't go over there you understand what i mean like you have to be careful how you treat people so that's a really good comment right there where she just kind of elaborated on what i was talking about but yes yeah, sis they better treat us right because they gonna find out <laughs> how we come back at them if they don't right krista i love seeing your name so many times in my comments i really do krista said take your time i just want to say i love your doll on the table far right white shirt silver pants very cute i love your voice it's cute oh thank you um what is the doll that you're seeing huh let me see if i can figure out which doll it is so this is my doll nahani and she is uh, originally willa likinson from zombies zombies 2 i think is the series that she comes from my boo trees from my doll did for you she uses this doll as her mini me and it really do look like her y'all but hers i think is on a curvy body and she did some customizing to the doll's hair and face to make it look more like her oh my gosh i saw this doll first on her page and fell in love with that face mold and i was like where i gotta have this doll so i asked her hey which doll is that and then she told me um which doll it was so i found her that way on amazon i think she's like 20 bucks maybe less initially when i went looking for her she was a lot more but now she's like 20 dollars or less so if you guys are wondering about that doll definitely go check that doll out on amazon i don't know where else it's available because i'm not sure if Mattel's website has that doll or eBay probably does have it but I don't know about the prices on eBay but I would definitely check it out if you have access to Amazon um she's really amazing doll mine I didn't reroute her hair or take her hair out from the original condition it came in it's still the same hair that was there but I did tweak her face up because my doll doesn't have the face makeup that she came with on the sides of her eyes it was like all like purple or something she doesn't have that that makeup on anymore because I stripped it off she's so cute and i added like some freckles and different little features to mine talea jackson says i like this channel better i used to line up dolls but still interacted with them some way so i i think you're saying that you used to line them up like literally physically have them displayed in online and i have a actually i have a doll display like that um the one on my wall on the acrylic shelves that i talk about a lot those dolls are all in one straight line and I actually wanted those displays to do my display just like that on purpose because y'all you gotta look at this hold on let me see if I can find it for you this is a 
old, 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 old video that somebody had uploaded from ages ago, right here, Momoko Doll, right? T Dragon 2000 is the name of this channel, and look, it's from 11 years ago. But I discovered this video of this guy somewhere in, I guess, in Japan at the actual Momoko store, and he's just showing all of these beautiful dolls. And look at how they're displayed, just in one straight line. Like, oh my gosh. When I saw this, I was like, this is brilliant. And then like the mirror in the background so you can see how they look from the other side. This doesn't look amazing. Uh, maybe it's just me. I loved this display because you can see every single doll, what she looks like, what outfit she has on, and you don't have to be bothered with trying to look behind another layer of dolls because a lot of times when we display our dolls on shelves, the shelves are deep. So you can fit, like this shelf right here, you could definitely fit a couple of dolls in front of each other. You know, you can fit more than one doll in layers of rows, but that makes it harder to see the dolls that are behind the front row of dolls. And your eyes just don't know where to focus. When I saw this, I was like, this is what I need in my life. Oh my gosh, why don't we display our dolls like this? So, I took this as an inspiration to create my own version of this and that's where I came up with the idea to do the strips of acrylic shelves all the way around my walls in my room and they're in like the highest point of my walls like so okay so I know I'm like explaining it bad I'm that's what I ended up doing with my own dolls because I just loved the way that this looked it's so amazing I don't want to put too much of this person's um, content in this video though because I might get a strike for doing that I just wanted you guys to see that um, just so that you understand where, where I'm coming from okay that's dope that's where I got the idea to make them all go into a line and they're so much easier to find and to see and to enjoy when they're like that um, my main display where I keep all of my like grails and my favorite dolls I do have them in like a traditional setup where they're like all behind each other but I used risers so that I can see their faces a lot better because I'm a face person even if I can't see their outfits I really want to see their faces so that's how I have mine set up okay Lauren DeWitt has a comment for us hi Lauren I saw on YouTube as far as celebrity dolls coming out with Christmas girl Mariah Carey dolls for Christmas season I think I heard the 75 in box not for sure though the Barbie pop-up comes in Chicago in June the Golden Girls kitchen pop is already in Chicago I oh, Chicago is where Lauren lives you guys I will go to that way too far from me where I live I hope to go to the Barbie one and Disney 100 exhibit comes to Chicago as well I wonder what shop Disney Holiday doll will be in this year. Last year, Tinkerbell, my wish would be Holiday Wendy or Alice, okay, from um, Alice in Wonderland and Wendy from Peter Pan for non-princesses. I also found eBay replacement doll bodies, jointed, articulated like Barbie made to move. They're not Mattel. They're easier for me to put heads on. Oh, really? Like me who buys vintage Barbie dolls from, 19, from the 1990s or vintage 90s Disney dolls. Yeah, because Lauren's collection, a lot of her collection is like vintage dolls and Disney dolls. Heads pop right on. I got one for my vintage Belle doll. I use these bodies for 90s Pocahontas dolls. Lauren be knowing about a lot of nice, cool finds on like everywhere. Not just on eBay, but like all these different websites. And she be putting me on. So thank you for sharing that. Also, Lauren, what is the name of the replacement doll bodies that you found on eBay? Do they have like a brand? What is the brand of those bodies? Krista Justice said, I have two VW Beetles, one yellow and one red, one yellow Barbie GMC Traveler, and one Barbie Starlight Motorhome, two Barbie Pink Corvettes, and more. Dang! And also said, hi Gypsy, I just subscribed to you and I noticed that I spelled your name wrong. I'm so sorry, I spelled the Gypsy on the comment on five things not to say to a doll collector. No, you're fine. Listen, you're fine. Spell it whatever way you want. Spell it with a J. As long as I know you're talking to me, it's fine. I'm not one of those people that's like, excuse me. It's not Rob, it's Robert. No, it's, it's fine. You know how many nicknames I have, y'all? It's a... A crazy how many names I go by like I have so many names if you guys follow me if anybody follows me on Facebook which I don't recommend because I don't interact with nobody on Facebook <laughs> 
but some of you guys do follow me on Facebook. You'll see I have like three names in my profile. And then in real life, I have like, I swear I have like eight different nicknames that people, because nobody calls me by my actual first name. My first name is the same name as my mom's name. And I can't stand the name. So nobody calls me by that except for my dad's side of the family because they just get a kick out of calling me by an Asian name. But I just, I can't stand the name because it's not, it's not pronounced right. It's not spelled right. I don't know what kind of alcohol my dad was on when I was born but like he spelled my name the way that my mother's name is spelled and she's not picky about how you spell her name because English is not her first language I'm picky about how the name is spelled because it's not being pronounced right that's why like I said I don't care if you spell my name wrong as long as I know what you're trying to say with my actual first name when I hear the name it like hurts my ears because Americans can't pronounce it right and I just don't want to be called by it because it just makes my ears hurt so until I officially change the spelling of that name, it ain't never going to get heard by nobody unless they just happen to have my government paperwork. You feel me? So as far as names are concerned, have at it with the nicknames. I'm fine with I'm a nickname person. Okay, I love me some nicknames. Retro Nerd Girl. Hi. She said, sweet. Y'all, y'all need to go follow Retro Nerd Girl because her name is not for show she really is a nerd girl but she's a beautiful one let's go over to her channel right quick i just want to show you guys let's see what i'm talking about let's see what i'm talking about firstly of all let's go to her lives okay let's go to her lives and then let's click on look at this lady oh my goodness oh my goodness just why why is she gonna be so pretty maybe i'm biased don't take this the wrong way retro nerd girl reminds me so much of my grandmother on my dad's side but not my grandmother when she was in her old age obviously when my grandma was a young woman oh my gosh we have so many beautiful pictures of my grandmother when she was young she was so stunning she was so pretty she reminds me of like those old school like you know the harlem jazz era people she reminds me of like that era of people like how the women used to dress how they would like curl their hair and all of that stuff my grandma she was a singer so like she played piano she sang she was very glamorous she was like the oldest of 13 kids she was a nurse she was very intelligent very smart and just she was on point okay i really look up to my ancestors because they they left us something to live up to all right and when i see this beautiful face is just instantly remind me of my grandmom's old pictures when I see like the pictures of her when she was like in her 20s and 30s oh she's so pretty look at her she's so cute like why are you so cute just stop being so cute gosh I just want to punch cute people in the face <laughs> You ever see like a baby that's just so adorable and you're like, I, I want to punch you. Like, I want to like bite your face. <laughs> like, what can I do? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, is it just me? Okay, it's just me. But that's a compliment. <laughs> Take it as a compliment. She's so adorable. And you know what's so funny? Because my mom always says to me jokingly that people who collect dolls tend to be attractive people. And they're just like drawn to the beauty of these dolls because they themselves are beautiful people. And beautiful people, we don't hate on, on beauty. We love beauty you want to embrace it you know what i mean so she was like you're either beautiful on the outside beautiful on the inside or you're both and i think that's true i think that is so true you hardly come across doll collectors who are just sourpuss angry ugly folks you know what i mean you just not often sometimes but not often so shout out retro nerd girl huh cutie pie and y'all go over here and subscribe to her channel because she talks about everything nerdy you can think of i tell you listen and i don't say that in a bad way because i'm a doll nerd okay and she's also a doll collector so it is what it is you can nerd out about a lot of different things let me tell you what's so freaking hilarious so i happened to just click on one of her lives the other day right and <laughs> this one right here she's doing a watch party for crawl and i was like mad late when i jumped into it, it was already two hours long when i had jumped into it right I'm sitting here trying to follow the conversation, just looking dumbfounded. I'm like, what is they talking about? <laughs> I don't even know what they're talking about. But the the chat was popping though. I was like, they into it. Whatever they talking about over here, they are into it. Is this how people feel when they come over to my channel and they're like, what are these dull nerds talking about? What? <laughs> popping off heads. What are you talking about? Oh man, that had a good laugh. Go over there and check her out. Minka Gaston, what's up? I love your simple heart emoji. That says everything. What else is there to say? And then Krista also said here, hi from Michigan. 
I take mine out of their box. So she's talking about her dolls and she likes to collect her dolls and um, out of box. Just like me. Sweet Earth. Hey, Boo says hi. And Jackson Art is my daughter who says, wow, you uploaded. <laughs> Jeez, Jackson. <laughs> Yikes. Anyway, so this was so much fun. Oh my gosh, I love doing this. Please, you guys, leave me more comments in this video because I really love talking to you guys um, in the comment section. And this just makes it so much easier for me to respond to you guys without having to literally type out my responses to everyone because I'd be talking so much. Imagine if I had typed all of the stuff out that I said to y'all. I'd be having so much on my mind that I have to condense it for the comments because I know I can't sit here and write a whole like four paragraph because I got so many other comments I got to get to. It's going to take me all day. So I do so appreciate it. And this was a lot of fun. I'll catch you guys in the next one and y'all come check out my community tab because i do drop polls for y'all like this one right here make sure you leave your vote here i asked you guys a question here and i want to hear your responses all right the question i asked was i've been on a hiatus from all things dolls online specifically for about three months i know i have missed a lot and usually people come to me for dolly news but this time i'm relying on you guys to catch me up leave your suggestions for which new dolls and brands i should have on my radar if it helps note that the last major release i was tracking before i lost touch was the last wave of barbie looks the color block series thank you everybody and scroll down to vote on my previous poll post so here you can leave me comments to let me know which dolls you think i need to um check out also in this video's comment section you're more than welcome to leave me some suggestions of things that you want me to check out like this little mermaid pack that this person had mentioned to us do the same thing tell me what you think i should be looking at because i don't know i don't know what should be on my radar isn't this thing cute i didn't buy it it was only 75 cents at the thrift store and i was so tempted but i didn't know what the heck i was gonna do with it i just love um wizard of oz so and the lion is my favorite character so i was like you know i can't I can't I can't do this I can't add more stuff to my collection right now when I'm trying to downsize and clean up I just can't do it it's too tempting but oh, so cute I thought that this doll could be because it has limbs that move like the joints move I thought it would be a cute little like huggable character for a Barbie doll like a doll for a doll but like a big doll for a Barbie doll because this thing is probably about four inches or five inches tall so I just thought that would be like really cute but I just I couldn't do it I said if it's still here the next time I come back to the store then maybe I'll get it just make sure you come over and check out the community tab and then the live tab is where all of my live videos are hiding and then of course you already know how to find the regular uploads that we put over here so I'll see y'all in the next one thank you so much for hanging out with me again my name is Gypsy, and you need to be subscribed if you're not. Hit the like button, leave me a comment. Just an emoji will do like Minka did. Just leave me an emoji, okay? And I'll see you guys next time in Dollyverse. Have a Dolly day.